Movement urging people to eat local. The aim is to get people farming and eating food from their own communities. Well, a teacher at Howard High School and an urban farming specialist spoke to students today about how they can impact their community through food. News Channel 9's Drew Balea has our story. And most of them, all they know is fast food or what comes out of a box. Linda Sullivan teaches at Chattanooga's Howard High School and is on a mission to grow local food with her students. We realized that the greenhouse was so old that the covering that was on it killed our plants. With the help of a few grants, Sullivan and her motivated students cleaned out the dilapidated greenhouse and they're making some upgrades. Cuttings and the seeds in here grow it to where they're big enough to go into the ground. She also built three raised beds of plants in the courtyard so now her students can actually live the gardening process. It was the first time some of them had ever seen fresh food in the ground. And it was the first time they could pick something and put it in their mouth and taste it. Will Allen, a farmer and expert on local food, was brought in to speak with the students on a personal level about a healthy diet. We're all connected in the food system and they need to have a better understanding of what they eat. Sullivan sees everyday meals as a learning opportunity that can shape the students' eating habits and eventually rub off on the community. A lot of people, they're used to getting things from society, but they're not used to giving back. Having the students see, feel, and taste the healthy results of their hard work, Help she says, can be contagious. And what you grew and what you have done, you can give to others, and they will be happy and appreciative of it. In Chattanooga, Drew Balea, News Channel 9. And Sullivan says that funding for the greenhouse and produce is running very low right now. For more information on how you can help, go to our website.